Hey guys, assalamu alaikum and welcome to another video. So in this video, this one's going to be a little bit different. Why? This is actually going to be the first of a series of vlogs which deal with very sensitive topics. Now this topic in particular is cancer and I've decided to basically record my journey for, you know, like the process of how I got cancer and why I did to recover and end inshallah. So if this helps, this video is dedicated to uh, those who are currently suffering cancer or, or similar types, uh, families and friends who are witnessing a, a close one suffering it and stuff you can do to help, and you know ways to keep positive about the whole situation. Now, before I start this one, I can tell you that as of this video, you know I go, I'm I'm currently 31 years old, and I've had cancer or confirmed cancer, which is in my case the E wing sarcoma. So it's located on my shoulder over here. On this back you see a lump. This is where I got my cancer. And this is the, the, the primary bone cancer they say. And here it's currently spread all the way across to my lungs. Now, I don't know how I got this. This is currently a rare case. According to NHS, it occurs in just over 500 people per year. Something like that. And it occurs in very random age groups. And there's no clear scientific reason why someone gets it. But you know what? Alhamdulillah, you know, I feel good. I actually feel very positive about this and I'm not too concerned what the problem is. All I know is that there's a cure and they're working on it. The hospitals have been working on it. Now guys, when you're getting treated for something known as cancer, most of the time we don't know we have cancer. It could be like a lump like i got here sticking out. It could be anywhere in the body. You, we can't really determine this, this exact position. But if, it, if you have something sticking out of your body, a lump, you should definitely get checked out. Because it could literally be anything. Mine was definitely proven to be cancer because... One time, you know, I was sleeping and I woke up with a very severe chest pain. It was like a cut right across here and it went all the way to my back, my lower back. So from the chest, stomach to lower back, it was severe pain. The pain was so severe, I couldn't even breathe, nor could I move. We had to call the paramedics to come and pick me up. Literally, like in the, from where I moved to my sofa to the ambulance and they injected morphine into me. So the morphine I was taking, it was called um, morphine oral solution and it was 10 milligrams. And this is seriously amazing guys. I had to take it once every three hours. I had to inject 2.5 milliliters every three hours and this would completely null the pain. So I, I went through someone that was suffering like tight chest pains where I couldn't even move to feeling absolutely nothing. So this was really helpful. You know, I'm trying my best to use it every day. It's been, it's been, uh, I don't know, like, I was prescribed on this the same day I had the pain. Same day I went into hospital, which was the 1st of August, I believe. Or, no, sorry, I went to hospital first time, 2nd July. I was prescribed this sometime prior to August in July. And that's when eventually they discovered I, I really had sarcoma. Yeah, so this was very helpful. But after a while, I ran out of liquid, of this liquid morphine. And, decided, and they decided to give me tablets because we decided that... It was not practical for me to take this every hour, even during the night. Because I was waking up every single, you know, night. And it was quite annoying because I'd feel pain as soon as, as it wears off. Thankfully, Oxeltra, this tablet version I use every 12 hours, is really effective in nulling the pain. But yeah, I think I'm going to leave it here for now, guys. Yeah, this is pretty much just the start of my journey. What I'm trying to really do here is uh, just try and capture my, you know, every couple of days, what's going through and any new updates. I've actually got... As far as I know, I've got an appointment this Thursday coming up. So from this time of the video, it's on Thursday. It's going to be with a major hospital from my location. And hopefully they're going to sort me out. So let's let's hope and pray there's some good news, inshallah. I trust the doctors. They've been very grateful, very helpful. They've actually you know put me through CT scans, many of them. Three CT scans in, in July, an MRI scan, even a biopsy. And I got my results really quickly. So I really thank and I thank Allah for giving me such a great doctors. And guys, always be positive, always be patient, you know, because when you have stuff like this, it's not under the world. This is meant to, you know, motivate, motivate you and even motivate others. And when you actually have this yourself, you know, you kind of see things differently. Sure, you know, it's annoying, it sucks. But ultimately, this is just a test. I believe this is a test from Allah. And this is here just to help us. You know, we shouldn't give up hope because at the end of the day, you know, we're supposed to be role models and we're supposed to help others as well. So let's take this as a test, face it head on, 
and go through and out and get through it together. If you guys have any questions, if you're going through the same problems, you know, just let me know. You can we can talk about it together. You can mention in the comments. But yeah, other than that, you know, let's call it here. And I'll see you guys next time. Assalamu alaikum.